<laughs> Some of you really thought I was going to let this one slide, didn't you? Huh? No, no, no. No, I wasn't. I might be a little bit late, but I'm not going to let this one slide. So, the WBC have confirmed they've received Dillian White's medical certificate. Um, the medical certificate for when he pulled out the Otto Wallen fight because of a shoulder injury. Remember, all these little cockroaches that were saying, oh, Dillian White's faking his injury and blah, blah, blah. And every time Billy White has the title shot lined up, he always does something to fuck it up. And, uh, we should be scared to the fight. Poor Otto Wallen. <laughs> Poor Otto Wallen. Poor Otto Wallen because a fight can happen for um, the interim shit. Well, not poor Dillian White, a guy that sent several offers to, the, um, to Deontay Wilder and couldn't get a fight. Not poor Dillian White when the WBC clearly said they weren't going to mandate the winner of Brazil and Molino. For the winner of Wilder Stavern rematch, and they still done it anyways. While Dillian White was ranked number one, or oh, poor Dillian White. Poor... What about Dillian White, the guy that fought um, in eliminators for the WBC, and such? Why everyone's claiming that he's never fought in eliminator and his dots eliminators? Wasn't the Chisora the first Chisora fight eliminator? Wasn't the reverse fight an eliminator? But yeah, Dillian White's going around turning eliminators. This is why I tell people you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You always parroting what other people are saying i said that i think dealing white's injured because again when he's in situations where um he's close to getting his title short he's never pulled out the pavetkin fight he never pulled out people talk about oh he pulled out because of low ticket sales so how comes he fought pavetkin then with no crowd in a pandemic why did he fight pavetkin in a rematch again when there was what 500 people in attendance come on people use your head the reverse fight wasn't doing that great when it came to ticket sales was it but he's still fought Reva. So again, what are you people talking about? You guys don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Go do your fucking research. Go on Google and then type in all these things, man. Why do people say things that don't make any sense? Good or honesty. <laughs> you want, you begging Dillian White to reschedule. What? Dillian White don't own Wallen anything. If it was fake, then yeah, I see what you mean. But now we know it's not fake. So what is the old Otto Wallen for? What about Otto Wallen? Go reschedule with Lucas Brown, huh? Remember that? Oh, no, okay. What about Tyson Fury go reschedule with Alex Alexander Usinov? Or why not Fury actually go fight Kubrat Pulev or David Price, those guys that are mandated to fight him years ago? Or go fight Vladimir Klitschko in a rematch? See what I'm talking about? You people don't keep the same energy. You don't keep the same energy. So let's just stop with this more high ground bullshit. Don't try and act like that so, so, like, so righteous and so fucking you know act like a white knight and that you're so morally high and all that when you don't even keep that same energy for other people just stop it it's fake as hell and there's some people that may go in and say oh the medical certificate's fake yeah because the wbc is definitely gonna do dilly white favors after fucking robbing for so long come on people <laughs> all the people that try and say that dilly white you know is really a drug cheat and so on and so forth, blah blah yeah, the U UCAD, Varda got off his case immediately, but UCAD, the country, you know, UCAD is obviously based in the UK, the country that he fights for, the country that is, he does big numbers for. Oh, yeah, they're obviously, they're just going to keep this going on for months and months instead of clearing him immediately like Varda. Come on, people, man. Just stop it. The British Border Control, oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to uh, be on the side after all the shit happened in the UK. Just, come on, people, man. Just stop it. Just just take the L, man. It's not that deep. Can't you people just admit you're wrong for once, man? The guy's injured. He pulled out of a fight. I mean, Fury versus Whitenex. I don't understand why people have such a problem that this fight's happening. Like, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Because I know if Fury beats White, which I think Fury would beat White, you guys are going to stop putting Dinny White on his resume as a good win. So don't even try that nonsense. Don't even try that fake bullshit. <laughs> We're like, oh, but White's done nothing to deserve the fight. And White shit and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but when if Fury was to go in and beat him, you know you're going to put on his with Dillian White. So don't even fucking bother. Let's just stop that bullshit. Try and act like he's a shit opponent. But if Fury was to beat him, you're going to put him on Fury's resume as if it's something great. Just, just stop the shit, man. Just stop it. So the WC confirmed. He got the medical sticker of his injury. Uh, Fury versus White could be next for March 2022. <laughs> That'll be a year since White has fought, so I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, hopefully it happens, man, because I can't wait for this fight. <laughs>
can't fucking wait. But yeah, that's my video. I'll catch you guys later. See you guys later.